to 61 cents a liter. Now, we already know the lies they told to sell the tax. First, they said it would make you better off because they're sending these tiny little checks out to compensate you for the price you paid. Well, first of all, the parliamentary budget officer reveals that 60% of Canadians get less back in rebates than they pay out in taxes. Second, he's brought in a, another carbon tax. They call it the Clean Fuel Standard, and it doesn't have a rebate. So you'll lose even more money. And third, rural and remote people are especially disadvantaged because by necessity, you use more fuel, you have longer distances to travel, you need bigger trucks to plow through the snow, and you have a larger space to heat and more cold to heat back up inside your home. So rural and remote people are gonna pay the highest price for energy, but that's just the start. Then there's the price of food. Because if you tax the fuel of the farmer who makes the food and the trucker who ships the food, then you tax the food itself. I was speaking to a grocer uh, from Dawson today. Is he here? Where, where is he? Mark, let me ask you a question. How much, what was the tax on the food that you had transported to your store from Edmonton? How much tax was there on that? On top of the regular load of groceries to transport that food all the way from Edmonton up to Dawson. Now, over 90% tax on the transportation. Now, all of that has to be passed on to the grocer, to the kit, to the people who eat. Now, people blame the grocer. He's just paying, he has to recover the costs on shipping the food. It doesn't ship itself. Budgets don't balance themselves and food doesn't transport itself, right? Right. So it's a food tax that Trudeau has brought in on Canadians with the support of his local Yukon member of parliament. We have had motion after motion on the floor of the House of Commons to ax the tax. And every time your local liberal MP has stood up and voted against you and in favor of this carbon tax. Are you ready for an ember, a member of parliament for Yukon who stands up for the people of Yukon instead of standing up for Justin Trudeau?